Hello everyone, this is Nick from R Tech Time, and right now I'm going to give you a look at an app for the Mac called Hype. Now Hype is an app that allows you to edit and create web elements. Uh, these can range anywhere from simple animations, text animations, all the way up to full-on web apps. And Hype does it all, it does all the coding for you, no need to know any code whatsoever. And the neat thing about it is it renders it all in HTML5. So when you export it, it, it exports in HTML5. No need for a plugin or anything like that. It's all web standards based. So I'm going to give you a very quick tutorial right here. I'll create some new text. I can change any of the attributes right from the inspector. Just like so. And just to give you a feel for animating, let me show you how that's all done. It's all keyframe based, so all the animations and all the attribute editing you do is, over time that is, is done right here in the keyframe uh, editor. The timeline, in other words. Keyframes can either be manually created, or you can have Hype do them for you as you go along editing. So I'm going to show you uh, an example of recording automations recording animations and it automates it for you. Let's start recording. Notice how the, uh, the timeline is at zero seconds. So as soon as the thing starts, this is going to be centered and the opacity is going to be zero. Moving up one second, we will then take this text, move it up towards the top. Notice how I'm still recording bump up the opacity and stop recording and look what we get for the output just like that we can hop down in here uh, change the name of this text we want we can also edit any of the attributes right here we can add attributes if we wanted to there's dozens and dozens you can work from uh, let's say I don't want the opacity to start until right about there. I can just drag the you know, I can just drag that measurement and play it back. There. Looks like that. I think that's good. Uh, let's add some more elements such as an image. We'll have this as the background. So let me center it and set it in the background. We will also have it build in. I don't want it to start right away. So let me add a manual keyframe, set the opacity to zero. Come over here to one second. Again, add a manual manual keyframe. Excuse me. Um, come back here. You have to make sure that this is selected, otherwise it doesn't work. You have to make sure the element you're editing is selected. So now I'll add that manual keyframe. Bump the opacity to zero. Move up to one second, just like this. Add another manual keyframe, keep this at zero, and then now we'll have it automate for us. And by the time I get to two seconds, I want this to fade in. So just like that. When we play it all back, it looks like this. I'll add one more image just to complete all our images here. Mm, that looks good. And again, I'll do the same thing. Go back here, set the opacity to zero. Move up two seconds where I want the build to start. Add another keyframe, keep the opacity at zero normally, however, Right now, what I want to do is I want to be able to edit its other attributes, so I need to be able to see it for that. So just for now, we'll keep the opacity at 100. Hop over here and change the Y axis to 90, so it's perfectly flat. Then I'll come back here and set that to zero. I'll start recording. Excuse me, I'll start recording. 
move to half a second, move up a half a second, set the opacity to 100, and change the y axis, or the, yeah, y axis back to 0. When that's done, our animation looks like this. Excuse me, it should look like this. There we go. Now while that's one skinny phone, um, one thin phone is a better word, I guess, uh, you get the point. So we'll play it all back. And there you go. Now, because this allows you to create full-on web apps, um, I can hop over here again and add either a video or some other stuff. I'll choose a button. My button will be right here. Next. When I click it, I'm going to excuse me, I'm going to jump to another scene. I'll create the transition swap and let me render another scene right here. There, scene two. So in all, and I play this back, we'll preview it in Safari. It looks like this. You can get more complex with it if you want. This is just a quick demo. Um, you can buy Hype for the Mac for, right now I believe it's $29. They said they'd bump it up, because that's the uh, intro price. They said they'd raise it. And you can get it from the Mac App Store on the Mac. All you need is a Mac running the latest version of Mac OS X. And that is hype. If you have any questions about it, um, please ask. If you have any comments, please ask. I think I'll do another more in-depth video because there's that, that's just scratching the surface of what hype does. There's so much more. So I think I'll do another video of hype in the future. So uh, please rate and subscribe if you want. Thank you.